Hello. So in today's video, we're going to look at how to assemble a national gabled roof. Tools you'll need for this are a hammer, a 24-inch metal ruler, some pincers, pencil, punch, tape measure. Um, if you've got one, it's quite handy to have a rubber mallet. If you don't have a rubber mallet, I would recommend using a block of wood on the cedar so that you don't damage it from the, from the hammer. Some glue. And if you have one, a sash cramp. Makes it much easier to pull the joints in with one of these, but it's not necessary. In your kit, you should have two outside pieces, which have the holes drilled in them. Two inside pieces, which is just a straight piece of wood, but it has this chamfered or beveled edge on it. Four cedar bars. A ridge piece to go on the top of the roof at the end. Two plywood covers with the metals on the top. And a packet of fixings. So the first job is going to be to put some glue into these slots here and nail these inside pieces into place. So we're using a powdered resin wood glue. You mix with water and a chemical reaction takes place and it really does end up stronger than the wood itself, but as long as you're using an exterior waterproof wood glue, it should be fine. You put some glue into those slots and then take one of your inside pieces and make sure that you've got this bevel level with the angle that's created on the top of this gable part here. You want that to be nice and flush with that edge. And the same for this one. And then we take your other face and do the same. And line them up the same on this side. And now you can knot them together either with your hammer and block of wood or with your rubber mallet. Or you could even use the sash cramp if it was too tight and pull them up together. This is, these have gone in fine. Now we open our bags of fixings and we're looking for the inch and a half sheridized nails. Okay, and you should have 12 of these nails. There's three going in each joint, as it were. And we put one in the bottom here. Obviously we're looking to hit the middle of this piece of wood with our nail. Turn it around, put one in the top face. And then split the difference. Then we'll just punch them. And the same on the other side. Okay, now we need to check that our roof is square. So we do that by measuring these internal angles here. Okay, 
If you don't quite get the same number, you might have to push from each corner. And now it's square. So the next thing is to fit the plywoods onto the top of here. We're gonna have to do a bit of marking out first. So if you take your plywood, which has this angle on it, obviously that's gonna come up to meet in the center of these two gable pieces of wood. And the first thing to do is to find out where these need to sit so that the top edge can be flush. And then what I like to do is put a nail in here and another one on the other side. So now I can just butt that piece of plywood up to those nails and I know I'm in the right place to have this flush. Now we just need to make sure this plywood is in the right place in that direction. So take a ruler. I'm just trying to equalize them out. It's very close to an inch and seven eighths. I'm going to make a pencil mark here in the middle and mark the middle of this piece of wood and another mark down here in the middle of that piece of wood, the middle of that one to here and on this side. And if we carefully slide this panel back against the nails, just off the edge of that one, it should reveal our piece of wood underneath where we put these nails into. We're going to mark the middle of that piece of wood here. Do the same at the other end. And take our ruler, make a line down between the two marks we made there. And the same between these two marks here. And then a line between these two marks, but only starting from this line to this one. So now that's done, we're going to put some glue onto these edges, bring that plywood back in and nail it into place. Offer it back up to those nails. Make sure your lines are in the middle of those pieces of wood. If you want to, you could check it again with your ruler. And then we're going to take some of our one inch nails and nail this board to the frame. Make sure it's up to the nail, don't let it slip. You want to push it up to the nail. Split the difference between this edge and that line. It's about an inch and a half up from this face to there. You don't want the nail to be coming out into space underneath. We're making sure we're hitting this frame. And then we split the difference here to make it four nails. Now for these nails, make sure they're going straight up and down. Don't follow the plywood, otherwise you'll come out inside the framework. You need to go straight up and down. So just gauging that. Okay, now we take our pincers and treat these two nails. You could use a 
claw hammer if you don't have any pincers. We turn this roof around. And we have to do the same line up marks on this side now. So make sure these are flush with the ends. And then we'll copy that one over to there. Again, one in the middle down here. And slide this panel back, making sure it's touching until we expose this piece where we put the nails in. Mark the middle of that. Same at this end, mark the middle of the underneath piece. Same as before, line between these two marks. And then a line between these two marks, but only from where the inside ones start and finish. Like so. And then we're going to glue on these faces here and then nail this one in place. Make sure this is lined up again, nice and flush. Keeping it pressed up to the other board. Nail it in. If you wanted to, you could measure all these spacings out, but ultimately it's going to have a piece of metal over it, so you won't see where these nails are. So that's the two plywood panels fixed in place. And the next job is to fit the bars. So I'm going to use this, my block of wood, just to help, help me so that it doesn't keep tipping the roof over. And then if we put one bar here, flush with the edge, that will be our spacer. Then we're gonna glue this one and put it into place here and put another bar in the end. I don't want the gap in there. Don't mind it here so much, we don't want the gap between the two. Push them up so they're touching and flush. So once that's glued, then we'll nail that in place. And bring this bar in. And make sure that's pushed up to there and flush with this edge and then we can hit that nail in. Let me put one down here. Again making sure that's flush with the edge. And then two more. We do the same on the other side.
now those two bars are in and they're flush with these two parallel edges. If we then make sure this bar when it goes in is flush here and flush there and the same with the, the top one, then all the bars will be equidistant around the inside of the roof. So we'll just glue and pin them in now. Okay, so that's all the bars fixed in place inside the roof. There's one final job now, which is to take some of your leftover glue and just seal the edges here on your plywood, just to help stop them from delaminating. So I'm going to use the stick, glue stick, just to do the edges here. And then to save using a paintbrush and having to throw it away, get some of your entrance closure sponge, which is cheap. And we'll just go along this face here with the sponge. And we'll do that all the way around. And then we'll just set that aside to dry. So now that our glue's dry on the wood, it's time to fix the metal panels onto the plywood. To do this, you will need a hardened nail, like a masonry nail to punch the holes through. If you haven't got one, I suppose you could drill the holes through into the metal. Um, don't try and punch your nail straight into the metal. They'll probably bend over. So if we just introduce this metal panel to here, So it's pushed down. It's really personal preference how many nails you want to use. Some people put three in each side. The pack provides for four in each side, so that's what we'll use. If you take one of your nails, you can use it as a little gauge. So with that, with like a nail's amount in from the edge. Let me make our hole. Obviously I'm angling this down to copy where the plywood is. Same on this end.
And now I do the same on the two shorter sides. Again, I'm going to use my nail just to mark. And again, split the difference. By coming in a nail's amount from each edge, you're making sure the two nails aren't going to hit each other when you hammer them in. And now we do the same with the other panel. Right, so that's the metal panels fixed in place. And our next job is going to be to screw the ridge piece into place. To fix the ridge piece onto the wood, we're going to need some extra tools. So you will need a drill with a 5 30 seconds drill bit uh, screwdriver end, or you could have a handheld screwdriver to put the screws in with. You're going to need a countersink to countersink the plywood underneath where the screw heads are going to go. And to make life easier, what we do, we put some blocks on here and then have some G-clamps to hold it in place so you can then turn it over easily. If you haven't got these, you might be able to get away with maybe holding it in with a hive strap or something. Uh, at the very, I think you'll struggle if you try and turn it over and balance it, but you might be able to do it that way. Anyway, we'll show you how we do it in the workshop. So we want to make sure we're on the ridge of the plywoods, it's nicely in place, and then the overhang is very, very tiny, but the same amount at each end. Then we take one of our blocks of wood and the clamp, clamp that end in place, and we turn it over. And we're going to drill three holes inside, three on each side of the ridge to take our six screws. And we're looking to just go through the metal. Don't keep drilling, you'll go right through the ridge piece. We're just trying to break through the metal so the screws can penetrate into the wood. So just through the metal work, we don't want to go into the, the ridge piece underneath too much. And then two more holes here. There, you can feel it go through the metal. And flip it over and do the same for this board. Okay, now we need to make a nice countersink in those holes, ready to take the heads of our screws. And now we're ready to screw it into place. You'll see when you do this, why we let all the glue go off beforehand. Otherwise, all these little bits of wood and metal would stick to the inside of your roof. Okay, so that's the ridge piece fixed. So we just have two more jobs now to do to complete the roof. We have to fix a piece of mesh on the inside of one of the holes 
and the cone escape onto the outside of the other hole. So pick which face you'd like to be your front of the roof. So we fix the mesh onto the inside of the roof over one of the holes with these four little carpet tacks that have been provided. And lastly, we're going to fit the cone escape over this second hole here. So in your kit, you'll have four of these little frame nails, which you can just hammer straight in, but they will come out slightly in the back of your roof, which isn't a problem, but you'll have some sharp nails on the inside face there. So as soon as we've got the pincers, I'm going to trim them off to fit. And there we have our completed national gabled roof.